of course it's something we all struggle with to more or less of a degree because in a sense we've all come here to this life to suffer in that way because imagine if we didn't have people circumstances and the struggles of the external world then what would be the point of being here right and what would be the point of doing the work we would already be enlightened and if we were just uh, stuck in a very ideal environment like a perfect heaven where there were no problems well then we'd already be where we want to be right so this is the psychological gem of life right uh, and it's good that you say that you know doing the work doing the deep work uh, because i think people who say that they want to be spiritually protected and have boundaries but don't acknowledge the deeper work on oneself cannot really understand uh, the deeper aspect of actually protecting yourself which is you know saying that term protecting ourselves from the external world implies that it implies separation it implies that i am i and other is other i am safety and other is enemy right when the deeper truth is that there is no separation that this life is all the self right our self and that's very hard for us to uh, understand in the, in the beginning uh, but you just have to zoom out a little bit you know we're all i mean this planet is a speck of dust and inside this speck of dust is just more dust you know if you put a lot of dust into a room and someone blows in the room you're going to see a pattern you know thousands of dust all, all going in different directions of course at different times we're going to bump into different uh particles of dust right and the dust are, are other people i don't know who said it but there's a famous saying that hell is other people and uh i wouldn't agree so much i would say that i would say other people point us to our inner hell so yes you're right in saying that it's all about the inner work and when we put that first well in a way there's there's almost no need to protect oneself for example uh if we're out and let's say a drunk person uh comes to us starts annoying us starts asking so many questions uh doesn't respect personal space and and boundaries very persistent with uh, certain questions so there's a person who who's very persistent etc um now you have to be this is all this is why it's important to be observant of our mind of the nature of our mind as we went into into the into the meditation because if you're not fast enough if not fast but if you're just not aware in those moments uh, something can arise in you that you just you just lacked the presence to see that it just the irritation uh the anger uh the negative thoughts towards the other person they come out very quickly and you know by the time we've we've acted it out and we said something or we just felt so intensely inside us we're so absorbed by it that we can't observe it and we can't understand it and we feel like we failed or something like that uh but it's not really a particularly a, a bad thing so my point is that be grateful for when the challenges arise even though it's difficult 
because they at least allow you to see uh, the things in you that that you need to work on, you know. Later on, of course, it's good to meditate and just reflect on what happened, why, uh, and and what you can do in the future to to navigate that, because to the degree to which you don't know how to navigate it, that externalized ego, let's say, of that other person, is the degree to which you don't know how to handle that form of unconsciousness within yourself. So, yeah, the main point is that everyone is a reflection uh, of ourselves and if there are people uh, that are that we feel so strongly and negatively towards uh, constantly and they're always in our life and we resist them so much then there is a reason for that and our re- the reason can be entirely different we all have our own uh, forms of trauma let's say and uh, you know a lot of people reason differently or give excuses to say, or or like give excuses to not do the work and say that, okay, Jean, you know, like, yeah, I hear you that I should look at myself, uh, but, you know, perhaps this person really is just, uh, you know, some demon that just shouldn't be in my life, you know, maybe. But you'll find that if you're really truly able to uh, let go, let go of the attachment, or forgive, or whatever it is that you need to do, you'll find that something will change externally at some point, in some way. You'll change, or they'll change, or, you know, our energy is is magnetic, uh, and we attract uh, certain things and, and people and situations into our lives for a reason. So first, yeah. it, it's very good to begin with just accepting that life is that way and that whatever is happening in our life it's good to uh see life as as the school right the school of life and and ask ourselves why is this happening a lot of things in our in our lives happen but it's those things that we really that really affect us in that way that are the the obstacles to living a more freer life I spoke about uh, the superior way, let's say, to protect yourself, which is to self-observe the the inner reactions. But of course, there's no harm also in uh, doing certain visualizations. You can do the Helion, Melion, Tetragrammaton mantra, visualizing light around you, uh, anything to help in in those moments when we feel uh, weak uh, and not able to, you know, not able to maintain some some conscious presence. So, yeah, you can do that too. 